everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo, and today we'll be taking a look at a pretty cool application that allows you to fully customize the widgets on your Samsung Galaxy device. Now, not only are you able to change the way that it looks, the size and location on your lock screen, but it also gives you the ability of placing widgets on the top right-hand side of your quick settings panel. So on the top right-hand side, this is normally a blank space, but here you can see I have a couple different widgets, and I am also able to interact with both of these widgets, and I can even add in more. Now, this also will work if you use dark mode or if you don't use dark mode, but I feel everything just looks better with dark mode on. Now, the application that we're talking about today is a application in the Play Store. It's made by Zachary Wander, and it's called Lock Screen Widgets. I spoke to Zachary asking him how he was able to create this application, and also if I'd be able to make a video for him. Not many people have really downloaded the application. It's still pretty much in a beta form. So if you download this application, you might notice a few bugs here and there. I haven't really found any just yet, but the more downloads that we get for this application, then the better we can get this application working. And as of right now, it is actually pretty fantastic. The application does cost $1.49. And once you download and install the application, this is the main page. You have the plus button to add in more widgets. You also have a settings icon, which we'll cover this in just a second. And then this is all the different ways you're able to reach out to the creator of the application. You can send them an email if you have any suggestions to improve the application or if you run into any issues. You can also check out the website and follow him on Twitter. Now, before we go inside of the settings right up over here, if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo and you love tips and tricks and tutorials about your Samsung Galaxy devices, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. Now let's go through the settings really fast uh, up here on the top right hand side. This is going to be the enabled option to enable it on the lock screen. Now inside of the appearance, you can change these if you want. I actually never played with anything right here for the appearance. The way that it looks when you originally by default place them on your phone, they actually do look pretty good. Now for the visibility, I did turn on the hide when showing notifications. Once you turn this one on, you do have to give the permission for it to read your notification. So if a notification does come through, then it will be hidden on the lock screen. So that's one of those things that if you wanna move location of your widget, you are able to do that and still have all your notifications shown, but I have been playing with this and I kind of like it when it does go away when notifications come through. Now you also have the behavior option right here. So this right here, it says show when notification shade is fully expanded, uh, show on main lock screen. Uh, you can also animate, show or hide. So I'm gonna show you what some of these are here in just a minute. So it's the behavior of how those widgets kind of work. And then you have debug. So to be completely honest, the only thing that I ever changed was turning on and enabling this one. And then underneath the visibility, I turned this one on. Other than that, I left it as it is. Now, once you're done with the settings menu, this is where you wanna add in your widgets. So you can have one or you can have multiple. Just hit on that plus button. This is gonna show everything that's been pre-installed on your phone and also all the applications you've downloaded from the Play Store that would have widgets along with it. So, you know, Galaxy Buds Plus was one of those. Great Clips is one of those. Keep Notes is one of those. And then on the very bottom, this is the main one that I use, which is YouTube Music. So all you'd have to do is just tap on that widget and it's going to add it in. So once you tap on this one here, that just means it is done. So it feels like that there should be more that you would need to do, but there really isn't. So to take a look at what this one looks like, you wanna pull down the notifications panel twice. This is gonna get you into your quick settings. Now you're gonna see that you have your widget sitting there. This is my alarm. And I also have that additional YouTube music because I just tapped on the widget. Now, in order to delete this with one finger, if you do a press and hold, you can hit on that little red negative button, hit on yes, and then now you just got rid of that one widget. You still have the other two. So that is how you're able to get rid of anything that's on the top uh, right-hand side and the same thing with your lock screen. Now, if you go through and you press and hold with two fingers, uh, what's gonna happen is now when you lift up, this is a way that you're able to move it around. So if you press and hold on this little uh, arrows in the very middle, it allows you to change the location of it. You can change the size, which I'm gonna do that on the lock screen. This is pretty much the largest size I can use on this uh, quick settings page. And then when you're done, you just do a double finger tap, and then now you're finished with basically the customization on the top right-hand side. Now that we have the top right-hand side looking really good, let's head over inside of the lock screen. I'll show you a little bit of what you're able Able to do it basically interacts the exact same way again press and hold with two fingers once you release 
then you're able to change the size of the widget. So I'm gonna make it go pretty much edge to edge. You can also bring this down here, uh, but the size of the widget is right there. Everything else that's right inside of here just allows you to move the widget within this little visible panel, I guess you can say. So I'm going to put it right around here. Uh, but again, you can move it around with that little arrow if you need to move it up, down, left, right. And when you're done, you press and hold with two fingers, you release, and then you're good to go. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm just super excited that there's an application out there that's super cheap that uses what is already on your phone, which is the Samsung widgets, but uses them in a different way or brings something back from years and years ago. You know, having this one right here with the music for some people might not really be beneficial. I know that for sure this little alarm icon on the top right hand side might be beneficial for others. You can also put your Gmails, you can put notes and a whole bunch of other things up there. In today's video, I'm really just showing these two widgets because these are the ones that really relate to me but again really cool putting it up on the very top changing everything on your lock screen you can also still put all of your widgets on your home pages right up over here but if you guys would like to download this application it's an application that's called lock screen widgets it's made by zachary again once you get this thing downloaded if you want to reach out you can reach out really in any of these ways here but i hope you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up don't forget to hit on subscribe subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.